just keeping track of these outages that we've been witnessing. I reported uh, right before the whole Jade Helm officially kicked off July 15th that there was a series of drills that was set to go down out in the West targeting specific areas and the whole theme was that the power was going to go down. Well, sure enough, right there in Long Beach, Long Beach saw 6,000 people go with that power. And then they turn around and in the same area, it jumps to 30,000 in the next outage. And they wanted to say that it was an underground vault explosion. We seen the fiber optic cables get attacked and they were cut on purpose uh, in Arizona. And we've seen other incidents besides that. But it's just kind of funny to me that all of a sudden we're starting to see outages popping up here and there. And wherever they're hitting, they're hitting good. Now, you could say, I could sit here and say, all right, they hit in Kentucky, and someone could say, oh, I'm in Kentucky, and everything was fine. Well, as you can see by this map, areas around Louisville, Lexington specifically, were hit hard and targeted. Maybe a little around Bowling Green. Other areas would have been fine. Uh, Northern Kentucky on this map wasn't hit like this, and I didn't see or hear of any outages in this area. But I did hear reports of outages around Louisville and as well as around Nashville. So, keeping track of it, these are the latest outages when it comes to internet and cell phone. You're talking Verizon, AT&T, and this time really targeting Kentucky and Tennessee. I'll leave a link. Keep you guys posted if I see any more. It's been Dabu7.